Hey guys, it actually feels like the longest time since I've been in the channel. It's because it has been the longest time. It's been like six months. Oh my god, I have so much to catch you up on, but this is a Paris vlog, which is so exciting. I'm off to Paris in the morning. Paris in the morning with Samuel. I go for three nights. Um which is going to be so exciting. We've got so much planned and I've just been packing. I've just finished all my packing off. Just, I'll show you kind of what I've got in my packing. Sorry, I'm just, this is the worst start to a vlog. I'm just putting my hair up. Just finished packing. This is my, going to be my handbag, but it's going in Samuel's because I've got a bit of space. Um, but yeah, all done. Um, I think you can see some leopard print. It's red, which is very on brand for me right now. I thought I'd start it now. Uh, I'm so excited to start vlogging again. It'll be very, very busy. Six months since you last saw me since, I think it was since the Thailand vlog. I've just been doing a lot. I've had a lot of internships, a lot of uni work, a lot of just normal work. I've been doing loads of shoots. Um, I've just had a lot going on. I've not had time to vlog it all, which would have been nice to vlog it all. To be honest, I don't know why I didn't. Um, but I'm going to start anyway, so... Over the next few weeks, I'll be taking you on loads of shoots that I'm doing because I have more time. Um, because I've actually finished uni now until September and I'm just on placement for the next eight weeks. So, if you're along with my placement, um, I won't tell you what it is that I'm doing yet because you'll see when I bring you along. But yeah, um, so next time you see me, I'll be on a plane probably. Hey guys, we're in the airport and it's actually 10 to 10. We've got like the perfect. Um, a flight time. I feel so awkward for me because I'm not doing it so well. Say hi. So I've just had a pint. Um, well, I just had a diet cake. We're just sat in one of the like lounges. We had some food and uh, um, <laughs> it's so awkward. An hour. An hour, yeah. So I'll um, a gate number should come up soon. Really cute outfit on. It's this new like tracksuit that I got, but I'll show you it later when I really get um, the photos and stuff in Paris. But yeah, the next time you'll yeah, probably see me will be in Paris. Hi guys, so we're actually in Paris now. It is up. Our room is fab. I'll show you it in a minute. Just got here, um, just checked into our hotel. It's bang on like three o'clock, so it's perfect. We had a French woman pick us up, like a transfer. She was vile. Honestly, it was so rude and I was not happy. The first French person that I met whilst I was in like central Paris was exactly how I thought they would be. Uh, but anyway, she was laughing at me because of the French woman. <laughs> Our bed, um, it's actually such a nice room. It's gorgeous. And then I'm waiting to show you the view because it's a great view. This is our bathroom, which is huge. We get some lovely little dressing gowns, which is amazing. And then, we also get a free mini bar, which is a win-win. <laughs> and then, look at this! Woo! I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this little bit here, like, ruins the vibe slightly. It's still, like, an amazing view. Um, so yeah, we're literally right next to the Eiffel Tower, which is really exciting. And then, if you can see, like, wait, see there, we've got, like, a whole view of, like, Paris, all that. Um, so yeah, which is, oh, sorry, I'm flipping you everywhere. It's really exciting. So we're gonna go grab some lunch, just like down the road. And then I think we're gonna go to the Arc de Triomphe. I think that's how you say it today. And then just go around like the shops um, around there just to have a look. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. We've got dinner tonight at Soho House, which will be really nice. I can't wait to show you my outfits. But anyway, this is my first outfit, which I just love. It's a, literally a, a tracksuit. But it's the nicest tracksuit ever. I don't know if you can see it. Oh. It's like a nude, um, woolly tracksuit. From, it's not really from anywhere. Um, I don't know if any of you have heard of Silver Good on Instagram. She's a stylist and she does like lookbook subscriptions monthly. This was one of her like one of a kind pieces that she brought out. So she might have a few left over, but not many. And they're all like one size. So I'm... Um, either gonna put my sunglasses probably not my sunglasses because it's raining now so it will look like a weirdo maybe my cap and my old boots on and i'm undecided on whether to take my trench with me or not because it's not actually cold so i might wear my cap so the rain doesn't ruin my hair but yeah anyway i'll just bring you along today 
guys, we absolutely demolished our food. I thought I actually remembered to show you. Um, it's all very intimate in here. <laughs> I'm a bit scared to turn the camera around and vlog. But, um. <laughs> Uh, it's so awkward. But yeah, um, it was just raining really bad. It stopped raining now, so we're going to run back to the hotel. I'm going to see the Vivant umbrella because I forgot to bring one. I'm going to get my cap. Um, I need it. Um, we're going to get an Uber down to Art and Truth. We might get the match there because the Ubers are ridiculously expensive. Um, yeah, I'll let you know. So guys, we've made it to the Arc de Trump. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, not really sure how you like, cross without dying. Um, people have just done it then, but I'm a little bit scared too, because it's literally a full on roundabout. Um, well, I've got my cap on. So guys, we've just come into all of the designer shops. We've been in Dior. We're now in Montclair. Guys, it's, this is the biggest store in the world. It's their flagship store, so. Um, it's their biggest, obviously ever, as you would know. I can't even comprehend how big it is. This is like one tiny section of it. It goes all the way down there. It's got two like other floors. I don't think you can see. It is absolutely huge. It goes like all the way around here. I've never seen like a store like so big in my life. It's insane, but it's cool. Okay, guys, I'm ready for day night. Uh, day night? Night one. <laughs> Um, I'm wearing this red dress from Rags and Ruffles. It's really cute. It's a little bit big on me. Um, and it's like teddy bear material. And then I've just got my black heels on. It's really cute. It's just a little bit big because they're handmade to order. It's really cute. I love it a lot. Um, just a tiny bit big. But yeah, I'm in a rush. So I'll bring you with me to Soho House if I can vlog. Guys, I'm in Soho House. But I'm on the toilet. Because you're not allowed your phone, um, you're not allowed to get a camera out and film. So, wow, I'm looking shiny on this camera. But yeah, we've had dinner. Oh my god, we had um, vodka pasta. Unreal. I'll insert pics now. Yeah, we've had a really fun time, and we've been talking to the waitresses, and they were like, um, "There's a party downstairs." So. That'll be me for the foreseeable. Morning vlog. It's the next day. Um, I've got these sunglasses on because I'm not going to wear them all day. But they're really cool. They're just from Pretty Little Thing. I love my outfit today. Let me show you. It's this like frilly set. Once again, it's from Rags and Ruffles. But it's this like frilly... Oh wait, you're decent, aren't you, Samuel? Yeah. Okay. This is set is from Rags and Ruffles. It's like a top and, and legging set. But it like curls over here. Oh, I just love it. I was like, it's February, everyone's going to be looking at you like, what a freak. But then loads of people had them on, so it's obviously just like a normal thing here. White fluffy coat on with it, and then I just got my Uggs on again. Not super colour coordinated, you can't see me. Not super colour coordinated, but yeah. Anyway, we're going to go for lunch. It's 10 to 10. We're going to go for lunch at 10. We woke up about 9, because we're not really like, I'm not really one to get up like 7 and like go and walk for 12 hours when... I've got like an itinerary planned. I'll actually show you my itinerary. This is the itinerary. Um, we still don't know really what we're doing Monday because we don't fly home till really late at night. Uh, by the way, I sound really nasally, I don't know why. But yeah, so that's our itinerary. Um, so today we've got the Louvre at 11am. I've booked tickets so we don't have to queue. Medici Fountain, which I'd never heard of before, but I had a look on TikTok and that was like highly requested. Then lunch at Café de Flore. Which I'm so excited for because um Gossip Girl, if you know you know. And then we've just got like a free afternoon, so we're just gonna have a stroll, maybe find a few shops. I wanna buy a perfume from Zara because I forgot my perfume. Um I bought like a mini bottle and it's empty, I didn't realise it was empty. Um and then tonight we are going the Moulin Rouge, which I'm so excited for. We still don't know what we're doing for dinner though. I think we might just eat here. Um and then we've got a ticket and like bottle of champagne to share at the Moulin Rouge which is until 11 p.m. so yeah anyway I'll bring you along I'm ready I've got my fur coat on um it looked cool yeah 
it looks cool um but yeah i am gonna leave you here because i don't want to take a bag and like complicate things because getting a bag on my shoulder with this on is hard so i will vlog on my phone on my phone please ignore the state of me for some reason oh my god for some reason this phone just makes me look dead dull and gray <laughs> we're waiting for an uber look oh yeah look right outside our hotel so cute yeah, just waiting for our Uber. I just can't work like the Metro and all shit like that. So I'd rather just pay and just get there quickly. Um, but yeah, so just waiting for our Uber. We're not in the lose, guys. The lose. <laughs> keep saying that. Um, it's actually really cool. Simon's not reading any of it. He's just like walking around. I love reading what like the paintings are about. You know, like the little things there. So I'm just like walking past, so I'm like summarising it for him. But we're about to go see the bit where the Mona Lisa is, I think. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> Give him a slip bar. Got, uh, got some it's like ham cheese toasted with egg on. We also got hot chocolate. It's real. <laughs> hey guys, so it's a lot um, later now than earlier. I vlogged on my phone today because I couldn't fit my camera um, with me. I had a little bit of a nap. We went to Cafe de Flore for lunch, which I don't think I vlogged a lot because the tables were very close and it was a bit awkward. Um, but yeah, anyway, it was so cool to just go there and like see it all in person. Um, but we then came back, had a bit of a nap because we were just exhausted. Came back about half three. Um, and the Louvre was so good, but it like fully took us out, took it out of us. It's like massive. We didn't realise how big it was. So yeah, we were just walking around there for like an hour and a half. And then yeah, went to, and then we had it like moved around shops around Cafe de Flore and stuff. Came back, had a nap, uh, just had a shower and then I'm going to get ready to go out so tonight we're so we're gonna go the reason i'm looking over there is because like here i don't know if you can see it it's like over there is a is a rooftop bar because we're on the top floor and it's literally just down there and it opens at six so you can go in from six to one in the morning and i want to see the eiffel tower obviously sparkle from the rooftop so we're gonna go um until about half eight and then we're gonna go downstairs at our restaurant to eat at half eight and then get a taxi to the moulin rouge between like 10 and half 10 um because it starts at 11 so we need to like be there earlier to get drinks and stuff but yeah so that's the plan obviously i don't think i'll be able to vlog in the moulin rouge but i'll try my very best i'll probably just take my phone again because it's a little bit less like obvious as a camera um but yeah I can't wait to show you my outfit as well. We're just about to get ready to go out, but it's like, I think for the Eiffel Tower to sparkle, because I think it sparkles every hour when it's dark, uh, and the lights have actually just turned on up there. So I'm hoping it starts to sparkle at seven o'clock. So I'll show you if it does. Okay, update. It didn't sparkle, but I'll come back when it does. Guys, I'm just in the middle of getting ready, but it's sparkling. Hopefully we'll see the next one in the next hour. When we're at the um over there and i'm gonna get some gorge pics i am ready i've got my bow in wait samuel would you show me the vlog my outfit please this dress is from my poly the boots are from ego and then i've put my hair in a cute little uh, bow which is from amazon <laughs> my otd and then i'm just taking my bag with me as well um i'm obsessed with this dress it's so cool and yeah so we're gonna go to the rooftop, get some drinks, and then go and get some food. Oh, wow! I've got like the best view ever. It's literally insane. So, I got my pics. Oh, my hair looks very frizzy. I got my pics outside the airport tower. I took full advantage of it. I like, wouldn't even let anyone get any photos. I was just there, like. So, hopefully, they're nice, but anyway, we're going for dinner now. So, guys, this came in about 0.1 seconds, but we got beef. How absolutely unreal does this look? I've got mine medium, so I've got his medium rare, but I hope it's nice. And also we've got a gorgeous little view of the tower, so nice. 
so we've just got to the Moulin Rouge. We're just queuing to wait to get in, I think. Um, we've got a ticket while well, like, champagne is included in our drink, in our ticket. So. I'm already aircon to blow my hair everywhere. I'll try and vlog what I can, but I don't think I'm going to be able to vlog. Hey guys, um, I forgot to vlog this morning. Apologies. I will vlog properly later. I'm just on my phone um, at the minute. But we're queuing for the Dior Museum, which is so annoying because I've been waiting the whole time to come here. Didn't even realise we had to buy tickets. I know that's really stupid of me, but I just didn't realise. You can buy tickets at the door, which is fine. It's like an hour wait. And we also booked tickets for the YSL Museum, which is in an hour and a half. So, yeah. And I can't get a refund on my YSL ones and push it. I can't push it back later. So, I screwed up a bit there, but it's fine. Um, we're just we're just gonna queue up and turn up to the YSL Museum. Like, can we come in, please? So, yeah, I will um, update you. I've never seen a human so bored in all his life because I've dragged him to a deal museum. <laughs> like the big deal shop now guys literally look at the size of this store it is absolutely insane this is only like one half of it as well and it's gone upstairs oh i just love it I'm trying onion soup for the first time and I'm actually so excited to try it. I also got some mozzarella sticks on the side. It's a lot of Come on now. <laughs> Taste testing my onion soup. I'm nervous. Oh wow. It looks so good. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely insane. That's insane. Hey guys. Oh, this battery is about to die, so I need to change you in a minute. Um, but it's a bit later now. As you know, I forgot my camera earlier. Sorry, you just died on me. Um, I don't know if that filmed, but it was just basically me saying um, it's a bit later on now and I forgot to take my camera out earlier, so everything's on the phone. So I hope it's all still like in chronological order, but I'm just getting ready. I've got this really nice jumpsuit on, but I'll show you it when I'm like properly ready. I've just got a big roll in my hair. Um, but we've been, so we went to the museum stuff today, then we went for lunch where I tried French onion soup and it was absolutely insane. Like I'm obsessed. Um, and then we actually came back here because Samuel really wanted to watch the Liverpool match. <laughs> so we were watching the Liverpool match and then now we're getting ready to go for dinner. We're going to this place called Bambini. It's like an Italian restaurant. Um, and then I don't know what we're doing after that. We'll maybe just come back here for a drink or something. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to go to our rooftop because we've got another hour to the reservation. So I'll just quickly do my hair and then I might go for a drink on the rooftop. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, oh, my music. Oh, I've done like a, one of these on the side of my head. I don't know if I like it, but Samuel says he, it's really nice. It just doesn't, I feel like it doesn't have enough poof. If that makes sense. It looks a little bit like Lord Farquaad y. But anyway, um, we're just going to roll with it. So, this is my outfit. I'm wearing this um, jumpsuit from Wonder Doll. And then I'm just going to put my Chanel bag on with it. I just had really greasy hair and I didn't know what to do with it, so I just thought I could um, 
pop it to the side in a ponytail. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I can't tell. It just looks really weird because you can't see my ponytail. But it just looks like I've just got, like I'm a goth. So we literally sat down about 10 minutes ago and our food is already here. Yeah, I literally haven't even been sat down. We've been here for about 20 minutes altogether. <laughs> but it's really nice, but it's a bit quick. guys so it's the next day Um, I think the last time I vlogged was in Bambini last night but we just went back to our rooftop had a drink we were like exhausted so we just came back here by like midnight ish Um, so we're getting ready to go we've we're not going till later on we're not getting picked up till it's like half six and it's like probably like midday ish now we're just trying to stay in our room as long as we can <laughs> Um, but we're just packing up and I'm literally just wearing the same outfit that I came in because this is super super comfy on the plane and um, I just put it on my Uggs so yeah um, today we're going to try and go up the Eiffel Tower because the woman who was really rude the one that I was telling you about the transfer woman she said to us that it was closed but we can see loads of people going up so we're going to see if we can get tickets to go up it um, and then I want to go to the big shopping centre I think it's called Gallery Lafayette something like that um, and we'll just get some food there and then come back and go to the airport. So yeah, that's the plan. We are on the way up the Eiffel Tower. In a little lift, which is cool because we were not getting the stairs. But it was only nine euro each if you're under 25. Which was a slip. It does. So cute. <laughs> So he doesn't want to tell, he doesn't want to say it out. I don't even know if you're going to be able to hear me, but I think we picked like one of the worst days to come up the Eiffel Tower. Because it's super foggy, but it's cool. It's fuck anyway. It looks so cool. Um, we're on the second floor because someone was too scared to go all the way up. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Why do you look so bored? <laughs> Right, we've come to the Gallery Lafayette. The weather is absolutely horrendous. So we got an Uber. By the way, we spent so much money on Ubers. Um, it's a joke, but yeah, we've come to the L&N Cafe. It's actually so cute. I've been to the ones in London before, uh, and the one in the traffic centre. They've got one on the traffic as well. But yeah, I've just ordered a chicken wrap and some halloumi. And Samuel got some chicken wings and some skinny fries. Yeah, and then honestly, some of the stores, oh, a bit red. Some of the stores um, in here are insane. We've got like Chanel, Japanese, Gucci, Prada, Fendi, and all. So we're going to go for this. We're just walking around all the shops. It's absolutely huge in here. Um, I'm not really on one of the main floors, but look, this is so pretty up there. There's people literally queuing to go and stand on that podium to get like a photo of it where if you just stand at the bottom you can get a really nice photo of it so I don't know but um we're getting picked up in like two-ish hours we've still got a few time bit time to